Okay, far away, Doug. Here right. we are. End of March. Let's get to land trust. <laughs> this is a, a cover crop that we sowed in uh, September of last last year in the fall. And this is uh, a mix of rye and triticale and peas and vetch and clover and radish that are all mixed in um, that we under sowed. This is a old stalk of eggplant which um, we under sowed this in September underneath the eggplant. It grew through uh, September, October, November to about this height and went dormant and um, just with the new warmer weather it's starting to come back. So wanted to just show some of the roots um, what's going on under underneath the surface in the so here's um, rye triticale are the grass the peas and the the vetch are the legumes these ones there's the pea and um, so I just wanted to pull up some of the, the roots to show so this is a a lot of this mass, root mass, is, is rye and, and the grasses. So as the grasses decompose, the, the roots decompose in the soil, add a lot of organic matter to the soil. And then the vetch and the clover and the peas are legumes. And here's some of their roots. And you can see the little balls on the ends of the, on the, the roots here. Mm -hmm. And these are the nodules where the bacteria, the nitrogen fixing bacteria live on the roots of the legumes. So that's where the vetch and the and the peas, they provide a place for the the bacteria to live and then the bacteria are able to uh, sequester the nitrogen from the air and turn it into um, a plant available form of nitrogen. So when you go to plant your vegetables soon what are you going to do with all these cover crops? So these are um, these are going to keep growing the rye and the the vetch, um, and they'll and they'll keep growing. And in mid May probably they'll be entering their their milk stage, which is when they're starting the plants are starting to put their energy their sap into the making seed. And at that point we come through and we'll either uh, cut the 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 plants at the base or just crimp them and crimping is just imagine if this was a lot bigger you just break the stem at the very bottom and that cuts off the the movement of the sap up up through the plant and the plant will die um, and decompose and so all of this root mass and all of these nodules containing that rhizobacter bacteria which have the nitrogen inside of their bodies decompose into the soil and become organic matter and um, available nitrogen for the coming plants to use. So after we cut the plants and they decompose for a little bit, I'll pl transplant um, tomatoes into this, um, into this field, into this, it, this bed. That's so, good. Yeah. Thanks, Doug. You're welcome, Alan.